It was well established in the case of Bernstein and Skyviews that the owner of land also owns the airspace above that land, but only up to a point which is required for the owner's normal use and enjoyment of their land. So an aircraft or a satellite passing over the land does not interfere with the owner's enjoyment and it's not a trespass. Whilst that makes enough sense, it does leave things a bit fuzzy. How high up does something need to be before it no longer interferes with the owner's enjoyment? Higher than the roof of the house? Higher than their tallest tree? Lower than the lowest cloud? How do we measure it? Mrs Graham owned a home on Kangaroo Point in Brisbane. Next door they were building a 15-storey building to house a telephone exchange. There was a crane on the building site. When there was no work underway, the crane was left to swing free in the wind, which was the safest thing for the crane. Unfortunately for Mrs Graham, it caused her great anxiety when the crane's arm swung above her and her home, even though it was a long way up. She also said it interfered with the view, although one suspects that the impact of a 15-storey building would be much worse. Could this be said to be interfering with her enjoyment of the land? Justice Campbell, as Sir Walter Campbell, later a well-respected governor of Queensland, said that this was a trespass. He said, In my opinion, the invasion of the plaintiff's airspace by the projection of the crane jib is a trespass. I am persuaded that the overhanging crane, which, as the plaintiff says, and I accept, is both an unsightly feature of her land and a cause of nervousness and apprehension to her, interferes with that part of the airspace above her land, which is requisite for the proper use and enjoyment of that land. So, even though the crane was really some considerable distance above the surface, the question was its impact on the use and enjoyment of the plaintiff's land. So it seems that there are three things to consider. The nature of the encroachment, the height above the land, and the specific impact that the encroachment has on the person who is in possession of the land. Mm-hmm.